On this table are the unassembled components of a Cloud Buster. The Cloud Buster is a suppressed technology with its roots in the 1940s. Sidelined and obscured at the expense of the world since the 1950s, many of the books mentioning it were burned. Similar devices were also destroyed. The time has come for the Cloud Buster to rise like the proverbial phoenix. The notion of controlling the weather has been long thought impossible, but in the words of Arthur C. Clarke, Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. The Cloud Buster is fabled to be able to cause rainfall using three key components. The first is the copper pipes that point upwards, their purpose being to project the energy that is gathered and converted in the lower core into the sky. The second is the lower core, comprised of a mixture of resin and aluminium shavings, which attract and repel negative energy. This enables the Cloud Buster to aggregate energy inside. While going through the energetic pathway, the crystals can cleanse the energy, making healthy conditions for any living beings exposed to it. Unless you're in Chernobyl or Fukushima, this energy is visible under a Curlian camera, shown here. These bions exist in all life at the microscopic level, and are essential for health and well-being. We have some links in the description that support this statement. The third component is the water running near it, which enhances the process due to the bions running through it. Though it is not strictly necessary for the Cloud Buster to function, it does help enhance the effects. We are not the first to practice this. Researcher George Ritchell led a project in the 2000s, in which he gave hundreds of ergonomic devices to various African countries. The channel Ascension Tools also researches ergonomic devices, and are helping reveal orgone energy to the world. Without further ado, here is the finished product. We placed it at the riverside. Mr. Ritchell has advised us to surround it with organite devices. We are taking steps to do this and will monitor the results over the next few months. To measure the Cloud Buster's success, you'll need to look for cumulus clouds and slive clouds. A picturesque sky is a sign that it's working. We will be publishing a video on how to make your own Cloud Buster which will be a blessing for farmers around the world. If you enjoyed this video, please consider sharing, commenting, and hitting the subscribe button. You will be greatly welcomed.